Welcome everybody, what is up to tonight's edition of Friday Night Cast. If you come join us, thank you for spending your Friday night here with me. I am Victor Vic Sharp Watney and I it will be your caster for tonight. So for those of you that haven't seen any of these or come around for any of these, I go into random games, high diamond, uh, all the way up to pretty much the highest rank I can find, and I will just cast them. We're going to have some fun, we're going to mess around and chat if you want to. I will always have it up even if it doesn't seem like I'm looking at it. So just come out, come enjoy, come spend your uh, Friday night with me and the people in chat, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I will keep this introduction brief because, come on now, we all come for the games. We don't come to listen listen to me talk and look at this. No, no, that's not how we do it here. So sit back, guys. I will go find our first game and be back momentarily. All right, guys, what is up? We are into game number one of tonight's cast. So as we can see here, we have on the blue side the Thresh support, the Kale in the jungle, the Twisted Fate mid lane, the Riven top, and the Corky mid. Over on the purple side, we have the Katarina... Uh, Zin Shao top lane, there we go. Leeson in the jungle, Katarina in mid lane, and the Jinx Nami bot lane. Possibly Jinx Nami bot lane. Possible AFK from the Nami. That would be unfortunate. And, um... Boop. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Woohoo, okay. Uh, hi, chat. Bye, chat. No all chat for us tonight. Sorry, that's not how this works. But, anyway guys, let's get into the first game, there we go. So, uh, Thresh going for definitely the more consistent of the gold gen items with that ancient coin. Nami looking for some of the poke with the Spell Thief's Edge. And kind of similar start to our own, Zin Chao going a little more defensively with the Dorn Shield compared to the Riven's Longsword. And, and the boot start from Katarina possibly wanting to get out of lane early and mess around. <laughs> We've just throwing a Q. There's not a buff there yet. But, eh, apparently we have a shark caller. But that, eh, bot lane with Nami. That's a little scary to have a shark caller on your team, right? Uh -oh. Just excuse me for one second, guys. I need to check this. If y'all could let me know in chat how um, audio sounds, game sound, and stuff like that, that would be awesome and greatly pre appreciated. But uh, otherwise, guys, welcome again. Game one tonight. Not sure how many games we're going to be looking at tonight. Possibly, you know, three or four would be fantastic and the most likely. Uh, but thank you for coming out and spending your uh, Friday evening with me. Hook lands on Nami here. It's going to be a little bit of poke. I'm just going to heal up with the ebb and flow. Good foster response from Corky. He's going to take it down to half health, but really nothing more than that in a level one trade here. But definitely a better start for a Corky who's got the stronger mid game over the Jinx and is going to be looking to control the lane. Level 2 hit from Zin Shao first and he goes right in onto Riven. Same for the Katarina Twisted Fate lane. But 
Twisted Fate able to get a little of the... Oh, never mind. Hook lands onto Jinx. They fall it in. Flay goes in. Exhaust down onto Corky. Should mitigate enough of the damage to keep Jinx alive. Last auto attack's not quite going to get it. Jinx is going to hit the level up and should be just fine in that lane. But we kind of see even lanes for the start here. The only lane that's really getting ahead for either side is the... This blue side bot lane, uh, Phosphorus from from Corky kind of whiffs, but gonna get a few autos on Nami. Good bubble's gonna allow Jinx to get a couple of rockets, but nothing major there. Thresh missed the hook. Level three's hit by both of the top laners, and a little bit of an engage, but nothing going deep on either side. Thresh just getting a few autos from the brush, and the Twisted Fate with the stun isn't gonna get too, too much, and just kind of keep this farm plays. Three and a half minutes in, no first blood. Oh, there's a Leeson in that brush, though. Riven flashes away, Zen Shao gets the pop-up, Lee Sin gets the flash and the Q and will get first blood as well for purple side here. Just under four minutes in, flash is burned on both sides, but worth it for that kill. Katarina's going to jump away and should be just fine. Twisted Fate's not really getting up her hand on that lane and Katarina's doing what he needs. Another, Katarina's doing what she needs. Another hook missing there from Thresh and one of those lands at this point with a level three Corky, that Phosphorus Bomb. Gonna do enough damage to really worry some, but the Nami bubble is coming out strong at this point. Really being able to stop a few of the engage attempts here from that Corky and Thresh. There's the ward in place in the bush. Gonna stop Thresh from trying to get one of those blind hooks. So definitely a good ward there from the Nami. Uh, have to see what Lee Sin kind of does with this first blood goal. Neither jungler has really gone back yet. And Kale can start to be a pain once you hit the level six with gank so Leeson's really gonna need to try and push the lanes up early here and get advancing as much as possible for this team to have a good shot here because we see the only lane that's ahead right now for purple side is that uh mid lane that even though you have the assist on the Z onto the zin Shao and top lane oh good hook from thresh they're gonna get damage on the nami the chompers should stop enough of it nami going very low gets has to flash away, gets Jinx to burn the heal, and that was a great trade from the blue side bot lane to get those summoners out of the way. Thresh standing on a ward. Think he was trying to go for a bit of a cheeky hook there, but not quite going to get it. Riven continuing to try and go in on Zin Chao and force him out of lane and push what is a 12 CS advantage. Keep pushing that up. Slow down a little bit as both junglers kind of go. Kale goes back and is able to pick up the Madrids with the first back. Lee Sin almost a full Elder Wizard item with that first blood gold and the farm that he's gotten at this point. Twisted Fate able to land some good stuns and he's getting good damage onto Katarina, but the jungler's not really there and I don't know that it's much of a one for one kill threat. Uh, Zin Shao able to use the bit of a level advantage he has there to keep Riven away for the most part. And in, but there's 10 CS leads popping up in a couple of places. Zin Chao has been able to pull that mid lane or that top lane CS back to almost even. And Twisted Fate has done the same in mid, but it's a 10 CS lead in the AD carries where arguably it's one of the most important spots. So have to see when this blue side bot lane decides to back. With the first blood though, it is a 500 gold lead at six and a half minutes here for purple side. And Good stun there from Riven. There is a Kale there as well. Kale's not quite level 4 yet. Is that an ultimate burn from Zin Chao to get away? But Kale's there. Gets the slow. Is doing as much damage as possible. Katarina using the ult to get Twisted Fate low. Will not take him down. And Zin Chao gets out in the top lane as well. No kills from the two engages simultaneously. Never mind. There is a Lee in there. Good stun from Riven. will keep him away for now. He's looking for the Q. He hits it onto Kale. He follows it up. And that, not quite a second kill. Katarina flashes in. Gets the kill onto Twisted Fate and just jumps away. And Purple Side with their second kill of the game here for Katarina picking up the first. Thresh goes in. Gets Nami under turret range. That's going to get a kill. It goes over to Thresh. The Lantern not quite taken. Corky's just going to Valkyrie in himself. Exhaust goes down on the Jinx. They're doing everything trying to get this kill. Flay goes down, keeps Jinx in range. Corky's just autoing away. Does he have... Flash goes down, Thresh hook not quite hitting. And Jinx actually gets away from that two for one. Nicely played there to limit the damage in that bot lane to the one kill. And it went over to Thresh at that. Very nice play there from the AD carry. And just going to back away, sell the Dorns to buy a BF sword on the first back. And let's see what this Corky does. If they push lane in and try and back or if they're just going to keep this lane pushed up the cs leads up to 15 in that lane whereas katarina's now open to 
12 CS lead up in that mid lane after the kill. And Riven's continuously staying about 10 CS ahead of Zin Chao, even with the assist. They're pretty even with the Brutalizer onto Riven and the Phage onto Zin Chao here. We see Corky straight Phage from the first back and nope, going with Boots instead of the second component or a second minor component of his uh, Trinity Force. So now it's pretty even here. About eight minutes in, no team's really gotten ahead, but that's going to... The play from the Jinx probably saved this little bit of a lead Purple Side has because a kill on the Corky would have been a lot more, would have been a lot better for him than the kill on the Thresh. He does pick up the second uh, piece from that Ancient Coin, looking to build towards that Talisman, and has the Sight Stone as well. Uh, Corky's just gonna have to do what he can. He's still got the CS lead. He's still got the power advantage, arguably, and he really needs to use it at this point to keep this Jinx down. Because Jinx was going to be able to do better in the late game. So we see in mid lane kind of taking a look at the items. The Chalice of Harmony here for Twisted Fate. And the Hunting Guys for Katarina. Who cares about that? We have a fight in the top lane. Flash kick from Lee Sin. Wonderfully done. Zin Shao gets the kill. He used his ultimate as well. Riven saved the ult. Katarina goes in on Twisted Fate. Pops the ult. But Twisted Fate gets the gold card and gets a little bit of damage back not quite a full trade but tossing out all the thresh hook actually gets out of the way of the flash bomb nami wave goes down thresh box goes down are they going to go into nami exhaust goes down foster bomb heal baited out from the jinx twisted fate's gonna come in where's he gonna go turret goes down in mid twisted fate came towards the nami jinx burns the alt thresh gets the last hit on the lantern and twisted fate he needs about two more autos is he gonna throw it yes he gets the kill with the wild card Nicely done there, and Twisted Fate picking up the kill with the ult. Katarina knows Thresh is there. Katarina doesn't quite have ult up yet, so can't look for the resets. Good stun by Twisted Fate. He's going to get some damage. Teleport coming in here from Zin Chao. Katarina's going to be forced to back away by the minions. And in all that madness, Purple Side did get a turret up top. But two kills there in that bottom side for for uh blue side and that keeps that gold rather even kale is gonna just clear up this wave let the bottom side back after that there's a lease in there he hops in with the ward he kicks kale into the brush but takes a few main turret shots takes the q in and katarina gets the kill into thresh zin Shao tanking up the turret kale can't really go in there to get the last little hits onto zin Shao, and that was a clean execution by purple to get that kill and just back away Katarina, Katarina hanging around. There's a Corky there as well as the Kale. And Twisted Fate's going to look to stop backs here, but he's running into a four-man group. The Q goes in. He gets the stun, but in comes the Nami bubble. Katarina jumps in as well, and that is a kill going over to Katarina. It is giving Riven a lot of time to work on this turret, but the kill lead is starting to open up a bit for Purple Side as Twisted Fate went into four people there and probably wasn't the best decision but it was what he had to work with was i guess the he was trying to stop backs and he did stop the backs but it cost him his life and the main thing they got from it was that top turret which evens up the turrets but the gold is still about is still under a thousand but still a lead for purple side here at 11 and a half minutes we see corky with oh never mind katarina's getting jumped on and kale using the alt nicely as katarina tried to jump on there but Shutdown gold going over to Kale. Riven picking up the assist. Nami and Thresh both try and get walk-ups at the same time. Both of them miss. They're just going to get a little bit of trading going on here. Both bot lane should be fine. No real engage from this. Just kind of take a minute, look over the items. Two side stone, double side stones over here on purple side. They're going to be looking for that vision control. Leeson's going to be wanting to look around for the hops. We see the wriggles completed here by Kale. Possibly going the Feral Flare route if the time to jungle is there. And at 65 CS, it looks like it. the Kale has had time to clear the jungle nicely. So, I have to see what's going on there. Looking at CS totals, Katarina with a nice lead in mid over Twisted Fate. But it's a very similar lead for Corky here in this bot lane. But they need to be able to take advantage of it some. Zen Shao jumps right in, burns the all, gets the flash out of Riven. 
and Riven will just run away with no turret to fall back on on either side in that top lane. They both have to be very careful. Nami taking a lot of damage from that Phosphorus Bomb. Sustains a little bit of it, but has to burn the tidal wave. There's a Thresh Hook, though. He burns his ult. Box goes down. Nami is still alive. The Lee there. He kicks Thresh, but the big one just goes through the people there. Exhaust goes down on Jinx. Thresh is trying to do all he can. Lee Sin gets the kill, stopping the Jinx Rocket from getting it. Double kill for Corky, though. Is he going to try and Valkyrie in for this? No, he's going to let... Lee Sin run away and a double kill for Corky. Whereas Lee Sin picked up the kill that Purple Side got there. So definitely more efficient use of the gold is gonna go over to Blue Side with those kills. And we see the Talisman finish up here from Thresh. Uh a recurve bow on the Kale. Where is Twisted Fate gonna go with this? He is going right on Katarina, gets the stun. He doesn't have help though. Corky's not there. So, a bit of a waste at all from Twisted Fate here. Zen Chow's going in on Riven. Kale with the ult, gonna mitigate some of the damage. Riven's going right in. Kale's there, gets the slow. Riven using the Wind Slash to get the kill credit there. And nicely done from Kale using the ult right as the bait came in. And wonderfully executed there from Blue Side to start. They now open up a 1k gold lead at 14 minutes here. And Corky now has Triforce. Definitely further ahead. And going to do a lot more damage than this Jinx right now. But Purple Side might get a free Dragon here. Kale's was all the way at top lane. Twisted Fate didn't have ult. And indeed, free Dragon for Purple. They're just going to back away before Blue Side can get there. They're going to try to go into Katarina, maybe. But nope, Katarina's just going to jump to the minions and run away. We send forcing to run away from the blue, however, though, as... Well, he's going back for it. They're not going to give it over to Katarina. It looks like Lee Sin will take the blue for himself. And Twisted Fate's just going to push up. This game's in a bit of a weird state right now where Power Spikes are starting to get hit, but there's only one turret down, so a bunch of roaming can't happen like some of these members would like. See Riven with the Tiamat and the Brute here. And with the 113 CS, second only to this Katarina on purple side in terms of farm numbers, and honestly, the Katarina, it's still, it's just a haunting, guys, and Sword Shoes with the Fiendish Codex. So, Corky, they have to be careful here, this Purple Side Botling. Corky is a lot stronger than Jinx at this point, and look at that damage. That should be a dead fish. Ultra going in around. Teleport's coming down from when, some, from Zin Xiao, but it got stopped by the Riven. Nicely done. It might cost Riven her life. It will. Zin Xiao flashes in for the final... Final hit and takes it down. The teleport was stopped though, but Corky isn't able to pick up the kill on Nami. And Nami's gonna try and sustain as much as they can, but Corky and Thresh are gonna push in and get a lot of damage on the turret. Hook lands on the Jinx. Phosphorus Bomb goes down. Jinx is taken very low, but Corky takes a couple, takes a turret shot, and that's too much to really continue here. Uh, Lee Sin and Zin Xiao trying to collapse onto Kale in the jungle, but Kale's just gonna walk away and know that that is a dangerous spot right now and I cannot go there really even game though at this point in 16 minutes 7 to 7 in kills 1 to 1 in turrets the dragon really the biggest gold difference here for purple side in their 400 gold lead but Corky with the Triforce you have Twisted Fate now with the Athenes and it's just Sword shoes on both sides. They're going to start trying to cut through any magic resist that this team tries to build. Whereas over on purple side, Katarina is going haunting guys. Sword shoes probably in a death cap it looks like here. With the uh, Needless of our draw added into the Fiendish Codex. Jinx almost has the IE finish. That's definitely a spike that needs to be hit with this Corky hitting the mid game part. That's going to make him very dangerous. And we'll just have to see what Riven decides to do. do if Riven goes uh, Ravenous Hydra or something else. Thresh just missing the hook. Don't try and get the ward clear. But Nami tried to keep him busy a little bit. Twisted Fate's going to get the stun on Katarina. Or on the... Yeah, Twisted Fate got the stun on the Katarina but wasn't able to do much with it. And meanwhile, Lee Sin shows up in top lane and down goes Riven. Again, 1-4-1 one, and one now on this Riven. Whereas the Zin Xiao now 3-1-3. and three, Definitely been involved in quite a bit of his team's action here and they're going to be looking to him for a little bit of this because Katarina is the only other one that has kills really the Lee Sin isn't enough of a damage source hook goes down on the Nami Flay is going to get thrown the 
Oh, good flash by Lee. Twisted Fate. He's not going to get away, though. Katarina jumps in and picks up the kill. Jumps back to Lee Sin. And that was a clean kill. Talisman burned. They're going after Jinx. Is... Get the flay. The Foster Bomb doing so much damage. He throws. The last auto attack will get it. Lee Sin finds KL. Kill does have the ult, so shouldn't die from this. Uh, but Lee Sin not going to chase too deep anyway. And overall, a even trade, I guess. Two kills, though, went over to this Corky. Now 4-0-2, oh, and, and they're going to get the Tier 1 and bot and a good bit of damage onto the Tier 2. So overall, a little bit more map control from blue side here. Lee Sin's coming, but he's going to get spotted by this ward. He's not quite going to get hooked. Let's see who he goes for here. He could, he kicks Thresh into Corky. The Valkyrie's going to do a little bit of damage, but Lee Sin's just going to flash in. Heal burn from Corky. Lee Sin's taking turret hits, but there's so many members here of purple side. And Thresh is going to go down to the Zin Chao. Lee Sin's not going to fall after picking up the kill into Corky. And yes... Riven gets the mid turret, but two kills for not here. Unless Riven gets back here, Windslash is going to keep them here. Twisted Fate's going to try and do some damage. Zin Chao just jumps right onto him, though. Good gold card's going to do some damage, and Twisted Fate's just going to have to back away a little bit because he's already at half health, half health, and there's still three members around here for Purple Side. The exhaust goes down. Zin Chao comes in and should pick up Twisted Fate. Does Jinx with those... With that machine gun attack speed buff, it's just going to really hammer down this turret. Zin Shao showing up just to help get the last kill. And now a 1k gold lead in this back and forth game going over to purple side. They've got the kill lead, but they are down in turrets. And I was wrong. It is a DFG first full item really here for Katarina. Really going to be kind of looking to blow someone up as Kale has the Feral Flare has the Rune and Hurricane, is going to be looking to do something here with those two items. And Riven trying to do what she can, but really this Katarina at 4, 1, and 2 I think can do more damage than Riven thinking. And there's a three-man team here. Chompers go down. Tidal Wave is going to catch on the end. Katarina jumps in and gets the kill after Riven gets caught with the with the bubble. Nicely done there. Katarina, another kill. 5, 1, 2. Thresh comes around gets hit with the cork. He's going to hook Katarina in, but the rest of the team's there. Thresh gets... Kicked into the rest of the team and is forced to flash away. Corky does as much damage with that Phosphorus Bomb as he can. And they're trying to chase here. No one's taking the Lantern from Thresh. Twisted Fate's going to jump in on the backside. Kale picks up Katarina. Katarina gets Thresh before the goes down, though. Zen Chao picking up Twisted Fate and then flashes over to Kale. Kale uses the ult, but Zen Chao's going to keep trying to chase here. Corky is at pretty full health, but doesn't quite have the damage I think to really do this. Zen Child uses the ult, gets him away. Going right under Turi just doesn't care. Taking a few too many shots goes down to Corky and Lee Sin now needs to back away. Minions following him but a bit of a too deep chase there from Zen Child and gives Corky a kill moving him to 5-1-3 and three, and probably helping them to successfully defend this turret. Riven's coming around. They find Jinx, get the stun. Jinx should go down there. Riven picks up the kill. They tried to start Dragon, Lee Sin and Nami tried to two-man it, but too many people from blue side there, and they jump in on it and take advantage to get a pretty easy Dragon. Oh, beautiful flash prediction from the Nami, probably saves the life there as Riven flashed in, but the tidal wave from Nami guesses perfectly and keeps Lee Sin and Nami safe. Kale picking up the blue buff on the steel. Twisted Fate will most likely look to pick up their blue side blue buff now. And again, back and forth game. This gold is just about even again at 22 minutes. R Riven has indeed finished the Ravenous Hydra. We see another BF sword onto Corky. I'm not sure what he's going looking to turn that into yet, but we see Triforce on Zen Chao. Uh, the IE and Zeal are now complete onto the side of Jinx. Jinx is going to be looking to get that attack speed buff and just dish out the damage in these team fights. And we saw the team fight from Purple Side is very strong. Uh, Katarina just able to jump in there at will. Definitely was beneficial. And we'll have to see what they do here. Starting to build up a little bit of armor here on the side of Thresh. Twisted Fate is going to look to pick up that blue buff. And that'll help having the double blue buffs on the side. Kale with the cooldown 
reduction is very nicely and Twisted Fate just able to continually push out wild cards and gold cards and look to set up the engage quite nicely. Alts are back up on every side so it'll be interesting to see. Everyone's kind of in this mid lane. Riven did go back to buy but is coming back right now and a lot of warding here on the side of purple side though they can see a lot of blue sides movements. Twisted Fate gets the cold card ready but doesn't look like they're going to have a use for it as Nami Tidal Wave goes in, catches Thresh, they jump onto him, and he goes down before Blue Side can react. Katarina picking up the kill there, and he tried to use the... He was able to use the box, but he just got blown up, and now it's a 5v4. Lee Sin not quite going to be able to land the Q, but Purple Side not caring. They can just continuously push into this turret. Good wave clear from Blue Side, though, and going to force them away, and this could be a long siege, so Thresh is up in 5 seconds... Another zap hits Corky, and we'll have to see who tra tries to go in here. Kale ult is up for anyone that tries to jump right in. Minions are hitting again. Let's see if this is starts the fight. Thresh is coming back from base. If Thresh gets here, it's a 5v5 again. Riven's trying to jump in and wave clear, but both sides have such good wave clear right now that it's going to be hard for either team to really siege up and see if they try and jump in on anybody. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they just kind of clear waves and clear vision, excuse me, and go into the jungle. They're looking like they're going to rotate, or Jinx is at least going to rotate bot, pick up that big wave that's been brewing up there, or down there, and both teams just kind of back away from this mid lane for now. Kale goes back into the jungle to farm up a little bit. And that was pretty much the end of that. Thresh ended up going down, but no turrets down, and no massive gold swing still just under a k uh gold lead here for purple side and at 25 minutes you have to wonder when the dance starts becoming around baron instead of this uh mid lane turret and does oh the tidal wave able to burn the flash out of who burned the flash out of twisted fate there riven getting caught out in the jungle tries to stun zin Shao away but zin Shao should be able to pick up the kill he does Thresh gets kicked back away from the team there as he tried to go in. Twisted Fate's going to try and pull the gold card. He does, but he has to take the Thresh Lantern away. Kale not quite caught out. In fact, Nami caught out and blown up. Corky getting the kill with the Phosphorus Bomb, and it's a 4v4 now. But it's a top laner and a support missing. So definitely edge to purple side. Zin Shao jumps in. He gets the ult out of Kale, and they jump on to Corky. Taken down low in chaotic fight. Jinx gets the first kill, gets the reset. Corky is able to pick up a kill on Katarina. Jinx with the double kill with the rocket, getting the triple kill overall. And overall, a three for two there for Purple Side Fate. Really the only one left. Riven just coming back up. But nice rocket there from Jinx to pick up the double kill. And they're going to try and push in on this turret now. Twisted Fate's going to get some wave clear, but I think... I, yeah, Riven's not going to quite get there enough. Chomper's going to try and stop... Twisted Fate from chasing. It stops Riven from really chasing, and Twisted Fate's gold card goes to no use there. That was a chaotic team fight, but very nicely played from Purple Side to end up with the lead. Riven's trying to go in, but there's so many members of Purple Side over there. Oh, Riven, Zin Shao found you. Riven trying to jump away. Zin Shao with the flash. flash Riven flashes as well. Title, what, or the bubble not going to quite... Hit, but Zin Shao doesn't care. He gets the kill on the Riven. He's going to keep looking for Twisted Fate. He gets the double kill. Thresh Lantern comes in a little too late. And the Thresh Hook's not going to quite catch Zin Shao. Double kill here. Two members down in the mid and the top lane. They're going to go towards this Baron. They do have the Twisted Fate ult, but he's not up for 23 seconds. This should really be Baron. Katarina's just going to do... Oh, Thresh. Bye-bye. With that death cap, look at how much damage Katarina just did. Yeah, you have to back away now. You're down three members, and this is a free Baron for Purple Side as they really start to take control of this game just over the 27-minute mark. Wow, 5K gold lead now for what game for up until about four or five minutes ago was extremely close and very back and forth. Purple Side just showing their damage right now. Katarina blowing Thresh up. Jinx with the IE and the stack shift can wave clear insanely quickly. We'll have to see 
Is Zin Shao sitting on a bunch of money? I feel like he hadn't backed in a while. Yes, he is. Look at Zin Shao and Lee Sin. Lee Sin sitting on almost 3,000 gold. Zin Shao sitting on 2,000. Let's see what they go for when they back here. <laughs> Lee Sin just going to go in and steal the blue ribbon. Not quite able to get there in time. And let's see what he buys here. I figure it's going to be at least a Randolins and maybe even a Spectre's Cow, maybe. He has a lot of money on him to spend right now. And he goes for the... Randolins and let's see. Oh, Malum Malmortius. Interesting. Uh, getting some magic resist while still going a bit offensively here. And Zin Chao, I think, just straight up bought a Sunfire Cape. I think. But we see as well the Vampire Scepter looking for a little bit of sustain here. And really, Purple Side has taken a good bit of control of this game. It's going to be really hard for Blue to do too much about this. At, thir at 28 minutes, a 5k gold lead isn't insane, but you're against Baron. They hook Dragon. Wasn't the hook they wanted. And Dragon goes over to Purple Side, and Blue Side just has to retreat because this is a very scary 5-man team coming at them in this jungle right now. Kale does have ult if they jump on this one person, but they proved in the last team fight. They're going to jump onto Kale and force the ult out and then jump onto the priority targets. So we'll have to see. Kale with the Blade of the Rune King now definitely trying to dish out as much damage as can be done. But just I'm a little confused on the Blade of the Rune King, but whatever. The wave clear. Look at this wave clear from Purple Side. Between Katarina and a Static Shift Jinx, it's going to be so hard for... Blue side to get minion waves here. <laughs> I think Nami was just trying to make fun of and blowing the recall. Kale getting hit with the zap. Katarina's waiting off on the end. There's the vision of it. Honestly. They don't have vision, and that could be scary with a Katarina with alt up. But Jinx just gonna wave clear away as well. We sent over in the side lane. Oh, Katarina's looking for a ribbon. They do get vision, but. Katarina just... I don't know what Katarina was doing. Waiting in the bush, I guess, for Riven to try and come through the jungle pathing. Meanwhile, Lee Sin is pushing down that bot lane. He looks like he's gonna... Zin Shao's coming. They've pulled multiple members. Oh, Riven getting the stone on Katarina. Katarina taking very low. Wonderful gold card, and Riven picks up the kill. That's a lot of damage done out here with Katarina going down. Let's see what Blue Side tries to do here. They're chasing. Zin Shao just goes right in. He gets the ult out of Kale. But gets taken down to about half health. Kale gets the slow. Lee, Lee Sin and Zin Chao jump back in. Zin Chao pops the all. Jinx is there. Does have the super mega death rocket. See if it gets fired. Not quite yet. Zap does not land. Thresh is there. Gets the hook onto nobody. But this is a five man squad. Nami's coming around the side. Not quite able to get anything here. And Purple Side's trying to chase. Zap lands on the Thresh. Zin Chao shows himself from the brush and there this blue man side is continuously chasing they might chase a little too far though Katarina's back up and Katarina is streaming out of lane with those or streaming out of base with those home guards per blue side kind of realizing it now and they're all backing away quickly I don't think you're gonna be able to stop any of the recalls here they're gonna stop Riven Riven's gonna get caught out well Riven's gonna die Katarina's not even there for that one and another kill into Zen Shao at this point, 10, 2, and 5. He is a monster, and he's just going to start building tankier, it seems like, with his choice to go Sunfire Cape. So it's going to be hard to just force him down in a fight. We see the Black Cleaver and the Last Whisper here for Riven. The Death Cap onto Twisted Fate. They're going to be looking to do damage, but there's so much damage that's going to come out from this purple side. Tidal is going to go down. Ultimate immediately comes out from Kale. Kale's gonna go down quickly though once it pops out. No one taken down from Purple Side. Katarina taking a few turret shots, but it's just gonna heal that up a little bit with the sustain from Nami should be fine. They're gonna back away and they got a kill and a turret there. Now they have a way to start looking towards the base. And you saw that Kale ult. It didn't even last long enough. Twisted Fate's gonna look. He's going to go right in for Jinx here. Jinx going to use the Chompers. Twisted Fate flashes him, lands the gold card, and gets the final kill. Gets the final hit for the kill there. Getting the shutdown gold onto Jinx. From Jinx. And we'll just have to see. 
if blue side can maybe try and get some vision control back of their side with this uh, frozen heart here from Thresh. He's really going to look to try and stay alive a little longer in these bouts. But Zen Xiao now looking like he's building towards a possibly a Blade of the Rune King himself. The Mikael's Crucible for Nami at this point is going to stop one of the stuns here. So a very nice pickup. And honestly, you almost have to worry a little bit because. And look at, there's over a thousand gold on everyone but the Nami and Riven finds herself a Nami and that's what happens when your top laner finds support your support gets blown up so bye bye nice uh, knowing you Riven decided to stab the fish with the sword sword beats fish yeah well that's to see here looks like Katarina going for the next item being a Zonya is gonna want to definitely try and jump in Finds Kale. Kale does have ult and has a thrush there. Hook not quite going to land on the Lee He's just going to ward hop over the Wraith Brush and get away safely. But this team, they don't have Nami. So they don't really. And the Mikhail's got used, it looks like, in that engage with the Riven. So they don't have that up either, even if Nami was here. They're going to keep chasing, though. They find Riven, but not going to go for any amount of damage here. Blue side thinks they're going to go up mid, but they're just going to kind of back away. Baron is back up. It looks like they're going to go back and buy. We see Zen Shao completing the Blade of the Ruin King. We see Katarina getting another needlessly large rod here. Jinx starting to go, what looks like, toward the Guardian Angel with the Negatron Cloak and the Chain Vest. Um, we Sin don't think he went back and bought. He might have. Yeah, he still has about 2,000 gold on him, so he didn't go back and buy yet. But a few good items coming out here. The last whisper from Jinx as well. Going to be looking to cut through. Maybe the. I, yeah, I guess the Frozen Heart from Thresh. We see the Void Staff from Twisted Fate. But who cares about items? Katarina just got caught out. Thresh flashes in. He gets the box down. Twisted Fate's going to try and jump in. Jinx is in the back lines. Getting hit up by Riven. Twisted Fate gets. A double kill. He gets Zen Shao and he gets Jinx. Weeston is able to pick up the Thresh, but it is a three for one for the side of Blue Side here. And Kale is trying to find Lee Sin, and they are going towards Baron because why not? You have the member advantage. Your jungler is still up, and you have to, and you force the enemy jungler away. They only lost Thresh in that engage, and he was the main engage, so he went in and died for it. And this is Baron for Blue Side, and they are all of a sudden right back into this game. They're down 3.5k at this point, but at 35 minutes, 3.5k isn't an extreme amount here. And they just proved they can win a team fight. Lee Sin trying to solo Dragon. He might get it. He is going to get it, but there's a Kale there. If Kale can get on, Lee Sin does have a ward. I'm assuming to ward hop. Just going to kick Kale away and that will be the end of that little attempted chase but they're just going to wait for this bot lane out it's and unfortunately for purple side that fight really could have ended the game for them if they would have gotten a clean engage there and Baron as well with the gold lead at 36 minutes it really would have been hard for blue side to come back from that but all of a sudden blue side right back in this game and this has been a very awesome first game here um, it might limit the amount of games tonight but I am okay limiting the amount of games for good games like these um, see what's going on here Kale looking to build towards a Randolins it looks like um, not much kind of going on thorn mail here from Lee Sin the Zonyas is finished up from Katarina so really shouldn't get caught out like that again because that's what really started out that fight was Katarina just getting evaporated by this full AD Riven and Riven's doing a lot of damage Thresh Hook's not quite going to catch Nami and that probably would have is good news for Purple Side trying to defend this because Zen Shao has his teleport up so he can come into this fight at any time but right now it's a 5v4 and Blue Side's going to get this turret for free and they're just going to keep pushing. 
they see Zen Chow in the bottom lane and they're just gonna keep going. They have the wave clear to force this turret the force this into turret range. They have so much AD too. They gonna get it down. That's an inhib turret down. That's gonna be an inhibitor down. Zen Chow's trying to recall, but he's not gonna get back in time. And they're looking to go in on somebody. They just missing the hook. Twisted Fate had the gold card ready as well. And Blue Side's just gonna run out here. They have the first inhibitor here at 38 minutes. And that was just brute forcing the way into the base. Wow, Zen Shao was over on the side lane. Uh, Jinx with the Guardian Angel doesn't want to go down in these fights quickly because there's a few members that can jump into the back line here on blue side. At this point, with Super Minions now coming down this mid wave, Lee Sin gets hooked out, but there's not anyone on his team there. So Thresh isn't able to get anything with what was a nice hook. But form they're blue side looking to go towards bot lane now. As purple's gonna recall, they do get seen with the pink ward, and they're gonna take it out and look at how vision control has swung. It is now all on the purple side of the map. They're gonna catch Nami out. Riven's there as well. Ri Nami's gonna go down quickly with as much damage as this Riven has. And burn the tidal wave. The thing they did get the Kale ult for it. But Nami goes down and now it's a 5v4. Zen Shao's going to try and take tank some of the damage. But they're just going to go right at the turret. Katarina taking so low. One more shot's going to do it. Thresh goes for the hook. And Zen Shao being the good teammate. No, it doesn't matter. The big one takes it down instead. Lee Sin jumping. Trying to get the kick in. Gets exhausted. And Riven just goes in. Corky with the double kill. And they're going to keep pushing. This is going to be the second inhibitor turret. And the second inhibitor. And then keep going on the Nexus turrets. Because they have super minions. Just about to pour into the base here. Thresh not quite able to hit the hook, but they have minions coming in from with them and in mid lane. Thresh puts the box down to stop them from coming close. One Nexus turret goes down. The second Nexus turret is going to fall as well. Zin Shao jumps in and do what he can, but he gets stunned up and goes down. Twisted Fate picks up the kill. And in 40 minutes, that will be game for Blue Side. Wow, that was an awesome first game. Wonderful turnaround there in at that second Baron fight from blue side and that's what turned the game and really put it in blue side's favor they got Baron they were able to get that very fortunate trade with Zin Chao staying in that split push way too long and once they got super minions they just found the fights they wanted Nami got caught out and then Corky playing wonderfully 9-2-7 and seven there it the Riven was able to get catch back up six eight and five with the finish and that was a pretty awesome first game guys so uh i will be back in a couple minutes gonna take a quick break and then